One of my favorite exercises when it comes to building strength, but also improving the length flexibility of that hamstring muscle group is what's called the Romanian deadlift. And very great and awesome exercise when it comes to um, working on glute strength, but also using that hamstring group throughout the range of motion. So what the Romanian deadlift is, um, if we think of, think of a traditional static stretching for a second. So we think of, okay, my hamstrings are tight. We used to do, you think of middle school, uh, high school gym class, right? We would just hang down. I remember through the 90s, we would just hang down there into a hamstring stretch to length, try, try to lengthen that muscle and build more flexibility. The problem is, to a certain degree, these muscles aren't going to completely relax enough to allow us to sink deeper into that range of motion. Yes, sometimes we focus on our breathing, we can gain a little bit more as we go down there, but what I found over the years is that if you complete some kind of exercise or movement where that muscle is actively contracting as you're lengthening it in a safe and controlled manner, you can then teach the body, teach the nervous system, teach those muscles and joints that it's okay to sink more into that range of motion to then improve flexibility and mobility. So. For instance, if I was going to do the Romanian deadlift, very similar to that toe touch or that, that hamstring stretch that I showed you a second ago, but now I'm going to actually sit in a position where I'm maintaining good posture, nice flat back, engaging the core, small bend of the knees. I'm going to hinge through the hips. So now what's happening is I'm still lengthening like I did a second ago. I'm not doing as much throughout the spine. It's more hip and hamstring focus and this posterior chain down here from the, from the waist down. But I'm using that hamstring group. They're contracting right now. I can feel them because they're eccentrically lengthening and they're controlling and almost lower, lowering me down into that Romanian deadlift position. So, I can lower down into that position, feel the stretch, and then I'm going to just stand, drive forward through the hips, glutes engaging to drive horizontally to that wall to stand me up. I'm just using this PVC pipe to slide right down the shin as I go into this active hamstring stretch, okay? So stretch, strengthening exercise, whichever way you wanna look at it, because I'm lengthening the hamstrings, I'm engaging and working the glutes. These two, this, two groups of muscles actually work together when it comes to hip extension. Glute maximus is more of a, a primary hip extensor. Hamstrings are a secondary hip extensor. So a lot of times I find people constantly complain of hamstring tightness. We need to look at, do we have proper firing neuromuscular control and strength at the glutes? If we lack in any of those areas, we may feel those hamstrings becoming a little bit more overdominant to assist as we go into extension, regardless of the motion, whether you're doing a lunge, walking up and down stairs, if you're a runner. So this exercise actually puts a few different things in play so we can improve length in this relationship between hamstring and glute. So just to show you again, again, actively controlling throughout the hamstring, eccentrically lengthening it's called, so that muscle's contracting as it lengthens. As I go down, just sliding right down my shins, trying to maintain good posture. And then as I come up, I'm not using my lower back or my spine, I'm using my hips to drive forward. So a little bit more active on this stretch compared to the traditional toe touch, but I think a small little tweak in a very similar position that you'll see a lot better results when it comes to suffering from hamstring tightness or stiffness in that muscle group.